everyone you're welcome to our channel yes guys you're welcome to our channel we are in the city of Fort Harcourt yes River State I'm excited to visit this city we have been hearing a lot about the beautiful city of Fort Harcourt yes a lot has been happening in the city I learned a lot has changed I learned some beautiful structures are up so we are going to be seeing them as we progress in the city yes it's going to be a long stay in the city I'm going to begin bringing you exciting content from their airport uh the current infrastructures going on and everything that pertains to protocol in general so stay tuned to the end of this video to see what it looks like if you are returning subscribers seeing our video thank you very much we appreciate your sincere love and support for our channel and if you are a new subscriber seeing our video or you are yet to subscribe and you are seeing this video please do well to click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video so guys you know portacord is known for one thing in recent time it's being called the city of flyovers yes i think it's not far-fetched we're just dropping down from a flyover now see portacord is so full with flyovers a lot like in a bar road alone you can count up to six seven flyovers in a bar road this is minusing the ones that are currently under construction in other parts of the city like i wonder how do you guys cope with this construction or going on but about road is just like you climb up you go down you climb up you go down you climb up you go down in the whole of a bar road what well, i don't know how do you guys cope if you live in the city of post harcourt do let me get your thoughts in the comment section about what you think about the construction work that is currently going on around the city for me i think it is too much i don't know but you can let me know in the comment section because portacord is not it's not like lagos now so building building flyovers all over the whole place i don't know well that is it you guys are enjoying it like that in the city so who am i i'm just coming from outside the city to come and see what you guys are doing so these under flyover we are climbing now are going to be dropping very very soon so guys you know now you can't talk about port harcourt without talking about the GRA. of course yes i visited the GRA nice environment serene environment but there was really nothing too spectacular about the GRA because i didn't really see these fine structures man i was expecting to see something that would blow my mind away in the GRA but ah, somebody they took me to the new GRA and the old GRA well the structures were not really catchy like i was expecting probably anticipated so much but you give it to the environment the environment was very neat the environment was very clean and it was very very serene i must say but the structures were still the conventional structures we see even in every other part of the city yes just to this really blew my mind because i was asking some questions around the city and i was like ah, where do we have major estates in the city let's go and film in their estate somebody told me that they don't have estates in portaco what they have is gated community in fact i laughed to my bones that very day that what what they have in portaco is gated city and they don't have estates in portaco so if you are saying in portaco is it true is it you guys just have gated community and not estates in your city but i learned there are some new estates bringing up in the city but i actually observed that virtually every street is being locked by a gate in the city of port harcourt so i was beginning to believe what the person said about the gated community thing because virtually every every area has their gates you know once you just get to an area you will see a gate sealing up the whole area you know but it's good for security it's good for safety of the people yes you know and uh, once it is seven eight the gates are being locked and you must have to flash your light for security on your inner bar before you can pass through any of those places at night what well, is good for security is good for safety just that the way the guy called it a gated community and not estates really made me laugh very well so that is it for about the environment and about safety around Port Harcourt. Yeah, you also know that you can't talk about Port Harcourt without talking about their airport, the international airport. Yes, actually they were drive through through their uh, the airport road. Uh, we saw the, what the airport would look like. It was a very nice environment. Yeah, I love the drive into the international airport. The drive was very, 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 very cool. Yes, I enjoyed my drive into the airport. But when I got into the airport, it was quite sad that the international airport wing was uh, closed. We are not gain. We didn't gain access into the international airport wing. That video is already up. For as many of you that would love to see it, you can check it out. The 
Port Harcourt International Airport. The video is already up in our channel. You can check it out or it will pop up in your screen after this. You can do well to see it and see what it is like. We actually get into the local, we got into the local wing and we saw what the environment is like, ranging from the flights that fly from the airport and every activities that happens around there. So check out the video. Let me not give you the details. So I'm not going to sell out those details. So we are approaching the flyover now, taking us to the airport. We are coming all the way from uh, UPTH Air Aziz now. So we climb the flyover and to your left is taking you to the international airport. So that is that. You can see that we've climbed up to about five flyovers since I've been talking about this video. So you can see that Portacot indeed is actually a city filled with flyovers. Yes, guys. You can also talk about Port Harcourt without talking about Diabole. You know, Diabole was top notch. In fact, while I was coming, I was actually looking forward to eating Bole. In fact, for every day I stayed in Portacot, I had to test Bole. You know, I had to go and look for those spots. To eat bole yeah from, from information gathered from people when i made inquiry about where i can get some good and sumptuous bole in the city they told me i can get bole from um uh, what's it called stadium road yeah they are around the stadium they have some good bole spot around there and around the bmh in GRA. yes you know bmh is their state teaching hospital it's inside GRA. just after the BMH, bmh you see their museum Yes, the museum is there. Inside the museum complex, there's one woman that is arranging very, very sweet bole. You know, I've given you a link to how you can get some very sumptuous bole in the city. So around that part, you can actually get some very, 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 very nice bole to eat in the city of Port Harcourt. So you can check that out. I actually wanted to do a video on their museum, but there was really nothing spectacular about the museum. The building was still old. Probably the building also is part of what they are seeing as museum. I don't know, but the building was very old and the environment was not just it for me so i didn't see any need to actually do a video on their museum yeah after this we're going to be dropping a video in regards to the flyovers in the city and the current ones the construction that are going on around the city so you're going to be seeing that coming up very soon in our channel so do well to click the subscribe button if you have not by now so you will be first to know we upload videos like that in our channel yes one thing i also observe about port harcourt i observed that there were quite some traffic and uh, I was beginning to think, is it the flyover construction or the road work that they are doing that is causing the traffic? Yeah, the traffic level was a bit much. I just had to call them out of this video so you guys don't get to see all of those parts, you know? The traffic was quite much around the city. I don't know why, but the beautiful thing about it is that it is flowing, but in a very low pace. So guys, maybe it's the traffic, maybe it's the road construction, maybe it's the flyover. I don't really know. So if you're based in Portaco, do give me your feedback. So if you have stayed with me up, up till this point, please do well to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber and you've watched up to this point ah surely for you i really respect that i appreciate your love for our channel we appreciate your sincere love for it thank you very much guys so let's continue the drive around the city of port harcourt one other thing i observe about the city is that their major road there were trees they planted i think this is a recent development in port harcourt you can see from the video trees are being planted in between the road i think the, the last trip i made was last year i didn't really observe it like this and from the trees i'm seeing the trees are quite very very little you know they're not they, they, they've not yet grown very well so i think it's a recent development in the city and i think it is very welcoming as well because mainly looking at the type of tree they are planted that is the type of tree that ought to be on the road not like the one we saw in calabar so if you have not seen our video about what calabar looks like in 2022 you can as well check that out you can check out our video as well about uyo in 2022 yes i made some references to calabar because the trees they have in calabar is very disastrous when it is windy or when it is raining you know it actually destroys a lot of things it's not this kind of trees the trees are very branchy so i think calabar should look forward to changing those trees very very fast because it will be very disastrous again when the rain starts falling or when the wind is blowing so i think this is a welcome development in port harcourt to keep the area cool to keep the area very calm so it's a very good welcome development for for the city so i believe they should take this around the whole city yeah 
let's talk about the lightning in the city i also observed that not all the areas was like that i believe the gra yes good street light in the gra area but leaving the gra coming to location all of those places the lightning was not there at all the city was still looking very very dark and you know i believe for a city like port harcourt it should be well lighted because it's a well talked about city in the entire southeast in fact one of the one of the biggest cities in south 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 nigeria i mean to say so i believe the lightning should be worked on actually as far as port harcourt is concerned the lightning was not too encouraging at night for some areas apart from the gra areas that was very good then the airport road yeah the road leading to the airport was also well lighted and the trees was very beautiful around those regions so lightning is another thing i think they should look forward to doing better in the city of port harcourt yes going forward and you know i can't talk about port harcourt without talking about this now you know everybody that visits port harcourt will always experience this stuff as far as port harcourt is concerned the black suits you know early hours of the morning is so funny that you will just go outside once you get back inside the house or get back to your hotel room you just see this black suit following your slippers all around the environment you know this black suit thing in port Harcourt is actually though they even the, the, the people i spoke with said it's even reduced as at the time i was there that it was not like this before you can just wake up your whole car will be just be black everything will just be black like that i think it's something the government needs to check because that is serious pollution going on in the environment and I don't think it is healthy even for the citizens of the city you know it's not healthy at all because you can actually see this stuff before they say if you even come out just put your hand like this you see the black suit dropping on your palm in the city so that was one thing I observed and nobody goes to Port Harcourt without talking about this observation at all so it's something that the government needs to really look forward to they need to work on it they really need to check it out so that it does not cause harm to the citizens of the city yes guys so that is it for black suits yes you know port Harcourt is one town as well that is very rascal you know really i got into town that day driving through i think that was location area i saw some boys just started fighting and one was shouting you must see my blood you must not see my blood and fight just broke out you know the towns in the town they are quite much and uh, i think their eyes are still very much up in the city of port harcourt so these things need to be tamed as well because i was so shocked that the fight just broke out from and the irony of that fight was that it was a school student coming back from school on uniform with somebody who was a normal guy on the walking around the street i think it was a park actually so i don't know what happened between them but i was wondering a school student the way he was even talking to the guy i was like ah well you know fight broke out and his friends even came and supported it was one more or less looking like a clash immediately and the person that the person that was driving me actually said hey if you're not taking now this thing can just turn to a community fight the way we are looking at it starting very small it can turn out very big because that guy is a student his student has also joined the fight his friends have joined the fight the other guy they were fighting his friends has also joined before you know the whole thing can actually blow out of proportion so i think that as well needs to be checked very well by the state government and needs to become very well and if you drive around the flyovers in the city you can see actually see this tout moving around with screwdrivers and spanner you know just clinching on vehicles on the on the road so you have to central lock your cars at, at all time when they're trying to knock on your glass you just neglect them and see if they are not there i think these things needs to be checked very well you know i complained about this when we went to calabar you know i talked about it that oh tout in calabar there are so much there are so so much around that axis and now seeing what they are doing in portacourt as well i think they really really need to look into it very well so guys i believe you have been enjoying our tour around the city of port harcourt yes you know if you visit port harcourt and you didn't visit their pleasure park that means you have not visited port harcourt so guys stay tuned for that video we're going to be bringing you a detailed update on the pleasure park in port harcourt you know i've been hearing about it and i visited port harcourt and i decided that I must pay a visit to the Pleasure Park. And it was quite amazing to see the Pleasure Park. Yes, I was impressed with that work. I believe, though what I was not impressed with was with their gate fees, it was quite much to pay actually. But don't worry, you'll get all of those updates when we upload 
the video in our channel you'll get the detailed update about the pleasure park but it was a beautiful sight to behold it's a beautiful place to go and catch feelings and catch love with your loved ones it's a beautiful place to play some serious games it's a beautiful place to also scare your girlfriend if you want to scare your girlfriend put her up on some certain kind of games and you see her scream <laughs> you know quite amazing yes quite amazing so thank you very much guys i do hope you enjoy my drive around the city of port harcourt and these brief details about the city i have brought to you i do hope you find it informative and find it very 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 useful if you have stayed with me till now thank you very much i appreciate your sincere love for our channel and if you have seen this video like i've said before and you've not subscribed please do well to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video but rest assured we'll be giving you update as we visit every city like we've promised and expect premium content from our channel yes i'm not here with my wife but all love is coming from her to you guys all the way from the city of enugu she's cooking up some beautiful content for you guys as well anticipate all of that in our channel thank you very much guys we'll catch you guys in our next video bye